and developing now in the district, firefighters had to rescue a boy from a burning house in southeast. We're told a firefighter was also injured this afternoon. 7 News' Christian Flores is live along Mississippi Avenue with an update right now. And Christian, any word yet on what caused that fire? Fire detectives were out here for more than four hours. They actually just left a little less than an hour ago. They're still trying to figure out how and where exactly this fire started. I want to show you why this is a pretty big scene. This is the back of the house where that fire started just completely charred. In fact, you can still smell it, but it got so bad that even one home next door now has burnt siding. I want to show you what that looks like, but crews were able to put that out over here. Now, once crews arrived on scene, they got word that a teenager was trapped inside the three story duplex. They were able to pull him out of the home and begin life saving measures. That teenager was taken to the hospital with critical injuries. One firefighter also was hurt, as you mentioned, but those injuries are considered minor. Now all three people who live in this home, including the teenage boy in the hospital, are displaced. We spoke with the next door neighbor. She tells us she knows the family and was trying to rescue the teenage boy. Now at this point, investigators are continuing working, but this scene may take a while to process even now that they have left. The fire prevention and fire investigation units are on the scene. They're doing their investigations right now, so it's still undetermined until they're finished with their job, um, which could take some time. It's um, a lot of contents inside the burning building right now, so it's going to be a little while. She said on the third floor. So grandson not not kicked down the door, and when we kicked down the door, fire just flew out. We will continue working on getting an update on the condition of both the teenager and the firefighters that were injured over here, as well as the cause of the fire. Reporting live in Southeast, Christian Flores, 7 News. All right, Christian, thank you.